What's going on guys and I hope you're well. We have now obviously entered the Christmas season, so prepare for a lot of Christmas reactions. And to start off some of the Christmas reactions, I'm going to be reacting to Voice Play's old cover of Have Yourself a Merry Christmas. And at the end of the music video, I'll provide my honest thoughts on the music video and my overall analysis. Let's get started. This cover was uploaded four years ago and has 352,000 views. So this is the old Voice Play. Not that old, but old enough. <laughs> That vocal control of be light, my gosh. From now on, my troubles will be out of sight. I just gotta go back and relive that. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh. So classy. troubles will be out of sight. <laughs> that is so good. Man. And Jeff's bass just like blisters and pierces through everything else. Like it's obviously there in your ears. Oh yeah. That's one thing they always master in acapella is just switching it up and making it sound different every time. The yo or something like that just like each vocal part they're creating a, like an octave or a harmony of they're creating really a harmony but it just sounds so interesting to the ear Days of your and there's a seventh note added on top of that to give it some more interesting appeal wow <laughs> Dude, oh man, I miss when this guy was in voice play. Oh my gosh, whoa. Man, just so fantastic. Man, Jeff's bass, jeez, so good all the time, especially with this one. Ooh, and that ensemble harmony too, with the especially the higher notes, that makes it like contrast from the bass in a sense. It like it helps our ears differentiate the difference between the bass and the higher parts. If the things always hang a shining Ooh. star up on the high. That shining star when Jeff sings the bass that resonates with everything else you're hearing, and that is such a cool sound. Hang a And they gently soften it up a bit. Okay, let's hear that again. Ooh. Ah, the 
way he just softens that up, man. Oh, such a great transition. Okay, that could not have been any better without Jeff's bass, let's be honest. Merry Christmas. I think I just felt the room shake. <laughs> just just a little bit. There's something too about their articles right here, the ooh -ha 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 -ha, like the way they ha they're the way they're opening their mouths to to spit out the wah -ha, and the shape they're making. That also goes along with the tonality of their voice and which makes the sound so spectacular. Whoever arranged this knew the tone of voice and all the members and was like, yeah, we're gonna make this sound even more interesting and special for our for our listeners. <laughs> Like, can you hear that too? Just like that brilliance of the whoa, ho, ho. there's just something really fascinating about that. <laughs> that he just pierces right through it. Another really cool thing before we go more into that, this is a learning uh, time for you guys, but with, with those three nows, the three nows are coming from the right channel and the other three nows are going to the left channel. From your point of view, it looks like I'm pointing at my left ear, but I'm really pointing at my right. There's one, two, three nows aiming at the right ear and then three nows aiming at the left ear, panning the two apart from each other, which makes a nice spatial uh, clarity, a widening effect. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Okay. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Love the cover art too. So good, man. So some really awesome stuff to take away from this cover. Some of my film production background and acapella background is going to come into my thoughts and take this as an educational experience. Number one is just knowing their voices and tone. They, they know what they sound like. They know how good they are with their vocals and what their chemistry is like. So they arranged Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas in a sense to just really blend all the vocal tonalities together and make it as sharp and crisp as possible, giving us something really vibrant to listen to something that like makes us go wow that sounds really unique really fascinating i want to hear more of that in my opinion they know jeff castellucci and all of us know jeff castellucci has an amazing bass voice so they use that to their advantage and help his bass voice pierce through all the higher vocal parts because bass frequencies can pierce through walls like their bass frequencies are just more powerful in general hence why subwoofers are super powerful and can shake a room but his bass frequency is just so clean and out there and it just complements all of the higher notes uh, combined in this arrangement so very well done job and execution on their part and this would also make sense because looking at the credits jeff castellucci was the arranger of this acapella performance so yeah jeff castellucci i mean he's one of the founding members right of, of voice play correct me if i'm wrong on that statement but i mean he's been with voice play for quite some time so dang just jeff castellucci bravo to you this was four years ago so i mean i'm sure you're proud of it to this day still but man that was really something special another thing to take notice that you'll see in a lot of acapella groups is the awesome cinematography it's not like it was a super complex music video they didn't go to different locations act out a story they just like stayed in the same place but the production design their costumes, the cinematography, the lighting, all of those elements serve important factors in how these music videos are 
really um, entertaining and quality. And so you'll notice they're wearing Christmassy light costumes. They've got some Christmassy yellow lights hung up in the background to set the mood for the music video. And where they're singing from, I assume it's probably cold, so they're all wearing coats. It's winter time, it's Christmassy season. And just in general, their chemistry and the way they're singing brings you into the Christmassy spirit. So really enjoyed that part of this music video. So let me know what your thoughts were in the music video. Did you learn anything new from this reaction and analysis? And if any of you guys have connections to voice play or any of the members of the group, please share this with them. Let them know that one of their fans, Jeffrey Hack Reacts, uh, reacted to the music video from four years ago. <laughs> if you haven't liked this video already, please do so. That'd be very helpful. Considering my background in film production, if you have any questions regarding video production or audio production, I have another YouTube channel called Jeffrey Hack Media where I teach aspiring YouTube creators, and maybe that's you, about the basics of video production and content creation. You can find some links down in my video description. And I invite you to check out the voice play reaction you see right next to me. I honestly don't know what it is, but I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Thank you for choosing the hack experience. I hope you enjoyed your time and I wish you a Merry Christmas.